Fox 2 News. News that works for you. Starts now. More trouble for Wayne County Judge Wade McCree. He's involved in a sex scandal with a woman who appeared in his courtroom. Fox 2 uncovered that affair in December. Fox 2's Alexis Wiley live now with more on the latest developments. Alexis. Monica and Hill, this complaint was filed Tuesday, and what it details isn't just shocking. Some say it may be criminal. Hot dog. Yeah, no, shoot, no, no shame to my game. But what's outlined in this formal complaint should at least make him blush. Every count painting a picture of a judge who may have chosen sex over justice. As Fox 2's Charlie LaDuff first reported, Judge McCree was caught up in an affair with Janine Mott, a woman who was going after Robert King for child support. The complaint essentially alleges McCree allowed his relationship to influence his decisions. It even outlines text messages the commission calls improper, but you'll call downright gross. Like this one. Oh yeah, I text from the bench. After last night, it's all I can do not to off under the bench. And in another message, McCree even makes fun of the people who come through his courtroom, including a man he references as Monica Conyers' nephew. He texts, funny, I just had Monica Conyers' nephew before me. Ignorant as usual. And here's another one. Come on, you're talking about the docket from hell, filled with tatted up, overweight, half English speaking, gap tooth skank hoes. And then you walk in. I guess that text was some sort of compliment. Have you ever heard of a judge calling um, some of his defendants gap tooth skank hoes? I have never heard a judge or even a lawyer, and we're not <laughs> the cleanest people in the world, um, even suggest such a thing. Joel Sklar is Robert King's attorney, and he's suing both Judge McCree and Janine Mott because he says all the evidence points to one thing. They had already made up their minds what they were going to do, and they used a hearing as a sham to put into effect a plan to squeeze money out of Mr. King uh, for their mutual benefit. And it's just not what is supposed to happen in a courtroom. McCree's attorney sees this a little differently. Judge McCree is a good judge. He's done a good job in the 16 years he's been on the bench. It's embarrassing that he allowed himself to be put in this position. And I think he should be sanctioned because of that. Judge McCree agrees that he should be sanctioned because of it. But I don't think that this deserves him being removed from the bench, and I don't think he will be. Even this retired judge says this doesn't smell right. We don't know how this is going to come out. These are very serious allegations. They look bad. The question is, are the allegations bad enough to get Judge McCree kicked off the bench for good? If there's another level of worse, and I think there may be, we're all going to find out together. Now, Judge McCree is currently suspended without pay, and we may not know whether or not he'll keep his job until next fall. Live in downtown Detroit, I'm Alexis Wiley, Fox 2 News. So, Alexis, where does the lawsuit against the judge stand right now? Well, it's still moving forward, and considering that, you know, this has been filed, and, and Joel Sklar, Sklar says that he is still moving forward with this, it could be costly for both Mott and Judge McCree. Hewell? All right, Alexis, thank you.